When we got to Germany, this series was shot at a company that was then called Holocom, and uh, Fred Untershear and Rebecca Deem uh, were managing that studio, and they were also the technician. Now, these are the uh, masters that we shot in Germany. And in this particular series, we were mostly interested in the hand gesture and the protective gesture. So that's what we focused on when we did the transfers. This is the whole image there. That's the master. The, the thing is, you always have all the information almost in the whole room in the holographic master. And then as you transfer, you know that you're only going to retrieve about 25%. So you, you do have some flexibility on, on what part of the master image you decide to capture in the transfer process. Holography is both optics and the manipulation of optics, and it's also chemical processing. And the chemical processing in holography, to a great extent, is very similar to what you do when you print black and white photo prints. A lot of the magic occurs in the uh, chemical processing. In particular, in holography, color control, reflection color control, depends completely on a on a wet plate process. It's a uh, you. You swell the emulsion before you shoot the different colors. You dry the plate, of course, before you shoot it, but it, it, the uh, emulsion has been pre-swollen so that the filter that the hologram is will select different colors of light from the white light to give you the different colored images. As the hologram starts to dry down, it uh, changes the spacing, the fringe spacing in the emulsion. And that fringe spacing, the more it shrinks, the more it will select a shorter wavelength of light. So it'll go from infrared to red to yellow to green to teal to blue, maybe violet. And if we've goofed in our pre-processing, it'll end up down in the UV and you won't be able to see it again. 